Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best way to back up and restore your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. At any given time, you could lose all the data on your smartphone, and if that happens, all your photos, all your videos, all your data and files are going to be gone, unless you back them up properly. So maybe your phone malfunctions, maybe you lose your phone, and then you want to make sure you have all that data that was on the phone available to restore into a new Samsung phone. And also also, you just want to make sure you have the phone backed up anyway for any reason. So let's dive in. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the safest and the best way to back up your data. So what you are going to need is you're going to need this thing right here. This over here is a Samsung hard drive. This is a super fast, solid state drive that is going to connect to your phone and then you're going to back up all the data on your phone into this solid state drive and then in the future if you ever have to restore that data you're going to restore it from this guy to this guy let's dive in and show you how this is done and the links to buy this particular hard drive is going to be down below because it is samsung it's going to work best with your samsung phone so if you go to your settings and if you scroll down just a little bit you are going to see accounts and backup. You click on it, and here's where you want to look at. You want to look at external storage transfer. It says backup your data to a USB storage drive. This over here is a USB storage drive. You can see we do have a super fast uh, USB type C port over here. Now, I do want to let you know that this is in fact a solid state drive, so it's going to be ultra fast and it comes in a bunch of different colors you can check the details in the actual link and what you're going to need also is everybody has one of these you are going to need a usb type c uh, to type c cable so one end of the cable is going to connect your phone and the other end is going to connect into the hard drive let me do that right now and by the way before i connect this part into the phone if you click on this look what happens you're going to see this it does give you the backup and restore option, but it says no external storage device detected. So it is in fact looking for one. So we're gonna connect this to the bottom right now. All right, so that's all done. Okay, now when I click on it, when you click this for the first time, it might ask you to accept some permission. All that is normal. Remember, this is the safest method to backup data. You've got the physical drive right here. All the data is going to be on this drive. So that's going to be ultra secure because it is yours. It's not being uploaded to a cloud somewhere. It is being transferred to this drive that is in your possession. So what you would do is you would see this option here. And then all you do is once you connect these two, you are going to see USB storage. Backup to USB storage. You click on this guy and it's going to ask you to select the data that you want to back up. Of course, if you're doing this for the very first time, you want to do everything. Okay, that's going to be your entire phone. Even tells you it's going to take about 55 minutes to complete that backup. You can also go just for calls, contacts, and messages. That's a small file, 95 megabytes, takes about a minute. Or what you can do is you can go for custom. Okay, so if you want to just back up your photos and videos that's great you can go from custom so i'm going to tap on custom you should do this for the very first time just in case that's a complete phone backup but in my case i'm just going to do custom so i'm going to tap on custom i'm going to tap on next okay when you do that it gives you a breakdown of everything look at this messages calls and contacts apps galaxy wearable stuff settings i can even back up my settings and of course, images and videos. And I do want to let you know, any one of these guys, you can click this arrow. It gives you a deeper menu and you can customize even that backup even further. Okay. So if you don't want to back up your Bluetooth settings, which probably has saved all the Bluetooth devices connected to your phone, uh, you can uncheck that. Okay. But this is just an example. Same thing with videos and messages. So if I go to images, uh, if I tap on this, I mean, it's going to allow me to select or unselect specific albums and images to backup or not. Okay, so you can do the custom backup. And once it's ready, you just tap on backup. Now, let me do a quick example with this one here. I'm going to say next, just so we can do it quickly. But it's the same process. It just is a time difference. So I'm going to tap on next. Okay, 
It says data is backed up and encrypted using your Samsung account, which is also great because now the data on this thing is going to be encrypted. So even if somebody gets a hold of this, they're not going to see anything. They're just going to see gibberish because your Samsung account that you have used to log in this phone is going to encrypt that data. To decrypt the data and restore it, you're going to need your Samsung account as well. So I'm going to tap on OK, and it says backing up your data during the remaining time. It should be less than a minute. It tells you exactly what it is doing right here, and you can see we are almost done, 100 minutes. Uh, I'm sorry, 100%, one minute left, which basically means seconds left. Once you're done, it gives you a backup results. It tells you what's been copied, the exact size of that information and then you tap on next okay and you're all set as you can see gives you some suggestions you can ignore that you've got that physical backup right here you tap on done okay now you have a backup of your phone again this could be a full backup or a custom backup now let's say you lost this phone or your phone malfunction or even if you got a second phone and you want to restore all the data on this hard drive back into your phone all you do is you go down you come again let me just go from the very beginning you go to the settings you scroll down okay you say accounts and backup and you tap on external storage transfer and in this case you choose this option it says restore from usb storage that was backup this is going to be the restore tap on it uh, right here on the arrow it's going to give you all your backups as you can see these are my previous examples now here's the other one and then you tap on this one it's going to ask you to select the data to restore even as you're restoring you can do selective restoration in my case i'm just going to say just calls and contacts then i'm going to tap on next okay it's saying again one minute left it's restoring your data now in this example because this is an example it's just restoring what I already had backed up. So it's overriding what was already there with data that I just backed up. So no big deal. And look at this. Once you're done, it says transferring your data is complete. We are organizing your transfer data. You can continue to go to the home screen. I'll do it in the background. Just don't disconnect it, okay? Uh, and then you can always look over here. Once this thing is complete, organizing your transfer data then you can in fact disconnect it the phone is going to actually let you know okay so give me a second here there we go so data transfer complete now i can disconnect this but before i do disconnect i want to show you one more thing in relation to the backup this is just supplemental information so when you go back into accounts and backup the question arises how often should you do a backup now what i recommend is you do a full weekly backup so every week or maybe uh, bi-weekly come here grab your drive connect it to the phone and do a backup okay and do a backup of everything now once you do a backup of everything you're gonna have all these backups uh sitting here so look at this if i tap on this arrow these are my previous backups okay so every time i do a brand new backup of everything I don't need these anymore because they're taking up space. So you tap on the delete button here, select the ones you don't need and tap on delete. Never delete the one that's on the top. That's going to be the latest. Okay. You can have multiple backups, but you just don't want to uh, completely fill up your drive. And I do recommend that you buy a drive with a minimum of one terabyte of storage because most phones these days are, can go up to one terabyte. So you're future proofing yourself with a one terabyte hard drive that you can use on any phone going forward without having to buy the same one again. But that's it, that's the best way to back up and restore your smartphone. Links to buy this Samsung device, uh, storage device is gonna be down below. Remember, this is a solid state drive, so it is gonna be ultra fast.